Yeah. All right. So, click click away in the chat, uh, Daniel, please. Okay, so here we go. We're going in for the draft. Second game in the series, Fat Five, uh, are going to um, be picking second. Yep. <laughs> so we got Fat Five on the left. That's right. That's what we got on the left. So um, I'm waiting for the first man for the bets. It's Tassadar. Um, Tassadar has been in every game. Yeah. We've said this every game. 100% participation. There's been a lot of Zarya as mm -hmm. well. There has been a lot of Zarya. She is valuable. So I wouldn't be surprised though if this was a KT ban. I think it's a Tassadar ban. <laughs> 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 there we go. There we go. 100% Tassadar. So yeah, that uh, he's definitely... KT's a priority those. pick, man. Oh, there's the Varian. So Lord of the Pings are denying Fat Five the Varian by taking him. Yeah. And... Um, there you go, instant lock in after that of a Malf who is definitely one of the stronger sealers, yeah. and especially with his roots around the shrine. We've seen, we've seen Malf either played or banned every game today. As well? Yeah. So him and Tass? 100% participation, yeah. Um, we've seen Zarya all but one as well being participated. Was there a game without Varian? Uh, if you there, cast it? There was. I don't know. I. No, there couldn't have been. Maybe? Has Varian had 100% as well? I think there was one game, maybe, when it was... <laughs> I can't... Oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, let's be honest, you can't go wrong with a point-and-click stun, so... I know, it's, and, yeah, you can, you can... The lockdown on one hero that you, that you want to, especially if you've got somebody to follow up, like a Ming Orb, just to chunk the guy in the face, then, then uh, yeah. Face chunking is face good. Face chunking is is a bonus when you want to get kills so yeah Varian is so strong and he's so good and at level 20 he can he can absolutely he, he, what is it, he improves healing for the entire team and grants armor when he drops his banner like oh on. of course I the banner of Dalaran uh, I've no idea Stormwind something pick, pick, a, t pick a city um, Ogrimmar Aberdeen no that's where we live uh, so okay <laughs> um Vala, Kael'thas, as expected. These are heroes that punish inside the shrines. Mm -hmm. Kerrigan is another one that punishes in the shrines. Be curious to see. I, we've seen her fall off recently. I think is that not is that not correct that she's not actually like before she was first pick on Infernal Shrines because mm -hmm. of because of what she can do at the map. But now, I mean, there are heroes like you see Varya and Malf. They're the ones that have been prioritized over that because, I guess. She can clear a shrine quickly, but if you don't have control of the, um, if you don't have control of the, of the shrine, of the shrine, then she's not getting any value. So we saw a etc ban there, and then immediately followed by the ban on Tyrael. So no sanctification this game, and no mosh bit this game. No. Two powerful heroic abilities inside the shrine. Yep. Yeah, so does that leaves some Joanna or Mordin. Or do they just I would love to see the Haka here. You think? All the globals are still open, basically, mm. and this is a pretty large map. Yeah, I mean, there there is that uh, argument to make, yeah. The, the Haka's uh, global ability could be providing value to the team. Also, um, if he actually comes into the shrine, his Dark Swarm, uh, is that what it's called, yep. Dark Swarm? It, it can kill yep. the Guardians as well, giving you a constant yep. AoE threat of winning the objective. So It's always a bonus. Mordin. Tennis and Mordin. It's the okay. first time we've seen Mordin yeah. this game. I've been uh, missing him. It's good to see today, him. Today, I mean, yeah. He's, uh, he's Haymaker good. Haymaker would be amazing. I'm excited to see what build, because, <laughs> you know, there is all... Yeah, you get the, the Skullcracker build, yeah. and then you get the, the unkillable, like, stone form build, and then you get the Give the Axe build. And, uh, get Mordin, curious to see what they go I, for. I, yeah, it will be good, and especially with these big, juicy swaps from our Tannis. Uh, I mean, you know, if they did a juicy swap and then haymakered him, you could get him like halfway across the map. <laughs> but there is the issue that the Sonya has come mm. out, and what you've got a stun from Morden. Like, what? What do you have to lock her down? Ah, you think they're going to interrupt her? Like, yeah. What? What do you have to do that though? Like, is she going to get constant value because she's just going to spin to win? It's a four-second cooldown. You stun her, and she'll be able to spin again like, mm. um, before Morden can get his stormball out. So I I don't know, and I think it removes the slows. Um, 
Lord, Lord of the Pings have been taking very difficult to play compositions that give you high value if you're able to. Mm -hmm. And I like that. Uh, Rhaegar, and I would anticipate Bloodlust this game. Because Bloodlusted Sonya can whirlwind her way through mm -hmm. anybody. Yeah. Uh, and a Bloodlusted Varian. Can you imagine a Fury build Bloodlust Varian with a Bloodlusted Sonya? Be scary. <laughs> No one goes to Fury anymore. I know, but it would still be it scary. Exists. They may have just removed it completely. <laughs> and a Gul'dan. Gul'dan here. Just to I like it. Yeah. There's a less pick there. Yeah. Horrify. And just to get... The corruption. Yeah. yeah. They're all lined up. It's like fish in a barrel. Mm -hmm. You know where they're going to be because they're going to be fighting over these guardians. That's correct. They are, in fact, called guardians. There you go. I'm learning. Yeah. And it's ETC that was banned. <laughs> so... We're going in. We're going in. We're going to see if Fat Five I'm can continue the win streak yeah. and get a and finish the close the series off right here. And right now. I'm presuming, by the way, because I didn't actually check if our moderator did it, but there was a contest up there, and if you'd like to bet, um, it's bet A or bet B. Bet A would be um, fat, fat number five, and bet B would be uh, Lord of the Pings. Current casters here today are I'm Halloween, and to my left is Jabroni, and here with us on comms is the head of the casters, Heartless. And we also have a receptionist who has been helping out with the uh, with the um, tech tech support. Yeah, I guess. What is going on here? Right, so we've got a shooting <laughs> shooting <laughs> screen. There we go. Sorry, we guys. Go. Okay, so on our left, Heartless. On our left, we have Fat Five with Nira on Gul'dan, D1 on Malfurion, Karax on Tychus, Veraku on Mirrodin, and Undead on our tennis. On our right, Jabroni. Uh, I will let you do it this time because I. Slaughtered. This is Urge Hay in uh, Vala Ail Al on uh, Kilthas. Uh, Gabriel is playing uh, Sonia. Sonia and Migumi is on Varian and Elta on Rhaegar. See, it's pretty tough with their names, isn't it? No, it's not tough at all. We're a European so community. So which draft do you guys like more, by the way? I think the easier composition to play is probably Fat Fives. I think the more difficult composition is uh, Lord of the Pings. I think you could potentially get more value out of uh, Lord of the Pings. But, and you can certainly punish people clustered together with your Kael'thas. So late game value could appear there but it's just I think that lower MMR teams would be punished through how vulnerable Vala and Kael'thas are so um, so long as your team doesn't die um, you know um, yeah, um, you could you could have the advantage I mean I, I don't know I, I like I like um, Lord of the Pings draft just because more than it's going to be a risk for him to get into the back line because Varian and Sonya can just turn around and be like, uh, you're not going to attack our assassins, we're just going to murk you. So, if the contest's still live, you could bet B, exclamation bet, space B, space, the amount of points you want to bet, if you think that Lord of the Pings can bring this into a tie. Um, so, the early rotation, sorry, we've not spoken about that. You've got um, Tychus versus Sonya on the top lane. Split push Tychus, as we've seen <laughs> multiple times from yeah. multiple teams. On, on this map, it is normally a split push Tychus. And they're making use of Gul'dan's wave clear. And um, sorry, could you show talents again? Did, what did Malf go at level one? The moon burn. So they've they've got this quick quick wave clear that they can um, they can easily rotate the, between the top uh, the mid and the bottom lanes. But the Lord of the Pings don't have that. So they are just going two for two, two two one. Undead trying to get an early swap there on Elta, but Elta was quick. So they're all gathering. By the way, guys, um, mm -hmm. KT level one, no conviction. Redder went mana addict. That is quite unusual. Yeah. Well, it, it gives you the shield once you complete the quest, I suppose. It I does, but you're, I think you're losing a lot of damage potential, especially when they already drafted two frontliners and they have a Tychus, which is not really mobile. And Gul'dan is not the most mobile hero either. Okay, they're now coming in to try and contest the uh, shrine, and they are chunking down Undead. Undead dies. Gabriel rotates to Karox. He's escaping. Sonya going to spin the win. Undead, undead feed. <laughs> the chat goes wild for Undead's feed. 
Nero's so, getting good uh, corruption stacks there. And it looks like they've managed to successfully kite uh, Fat Five out of the uh, objective log. And oh, and Gabriel's on Nera. Can Gabriel get the kill? The Gravity Labs comes in and he's just oh, going nowhere. And Erds Hay manages to escape with her vault. I, I honestly thought she was going to feed there, but she doesn't. Diwan's getting chased down and, and he goes down. Him. But that's a Fantastic. full health Artanis and near full health Morden still there. So there's not much they can do, but they can just <laughs> they can just be there. Yeah, um, they're just they're just going to try and pop the occasional uh, minion, and there you go. Okay, so an arcane Punisher is the first Punisher of the match, arguably the best Punisher. Oh, oh, are they going to get him? Muradin. That was what you were they talking about, Heartless. Yeah, apparently they are executing the harder uh, comp uh, quite well here, and I mean already four kills to Nell, so fantastic. I mean, the, the thing is though, you mentioned this in the first game, you said you've been watching Lord of the Pings and their ability to just jump on someone and execute them is unparalleled, and that was just yeah. demonstrated. Uh, here too, by the way, if you notice this, uh, our tennis and then went for the swap. Went for the dash, and mid-dash he got the charge from uh, Varian, and immediately everyone collapsed on him. He managed to survive, but the reaction time that a lot of the ping just showed was absolutely fantastic. Terrifying, actually, but yeah, I fantastic. Mean... <laughs> Terrifying. That's what we're, that's the kind of games we bring you here at Heroes Lounge on Playoffs Finals Day, is terrifying skill sets. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. But that is level 7 picked up for the... Lord of the Pings, is there anything there that you're seeing? I mean, Sonya's gone for her healing, so she can actually sustain herself a little more. Um, does it surprise you KT's level 7 because he didn't talent into it at level 1? Burn. Does, uh, at least for me, yeah. Um, and Varian going with the damage, the, the reducing of the... Uh, sorry, the... Oh, can he get the swap? Time. He gets the swap. Gabriel's now in trouble. He's going to spin to win. Oh, he gets away. This Sonya. Well done, Gabriel. So, Seven's now picked up by the opposing team, and Malfurion takes Cleanse, Fell Wave from Nera. It's uh, pretty standard stuff so far. So, I mean, this is this means a lot to Lord of the Pings here. You see uh, Morden's level 7? He's going Skullcracker. He's going Skullcracker. So you think it's Skullcracker build all the way then? Would they give him the axe at level 16? It, probably, if he's doing that, he's just wanting to disrupt the back line a little more stop them from getting it but like I said Varian can just turn around taunt you and uh, I know he's not going to kill you but he's going to scare you enough that you don't want to be there so pick up on the Lord of the Pings uh, hard camp which is way better than the, the, the bottom camp being picked up because it's, it's going to be easier to clear the bottom camp in the bottom lane um, but the value from the pushing camp in the top lane means that Tychus either has to stay there longer or he has to to uh, to leave and he's just left so that's going to get even more value and Veruca gets stunned by uh, Varian there Ooh, and the swap on KT and the clan is going to allow him to just walk away there unscathed and by the way what you mentioned about the camps or never mind about it we still have here the skirmish happening in the middle here on the temple itself there are tennis with the dash, but no swap. Oh. And a lot of damage on him, and the collapse on him, the charge and the cleanse, but it's not enough. He will die, and so will Varian, though. They do pick up the counter kill, and. Yeah, I mean, that Gabriel wants to get back into the fight, but he just can't because. There's only five, there's only five, two left to go, so they couldn't do anything, but yeah, it was a. There we go, so the second Punisher goes in favour of. Fat number five. Fat five. Fat five. Fat five. He's gonna John Cena here, watch this, the hop, I can't wait for it. Da -da -da. <laughs> But more, then, more, please. How did it go? <laughs> <laughs> Fat Five have decided they don't want to push at all with it. They want to soak and get to ten, because um, as you can see, they don't want to. They don't want to be fighting mm. against a taunt Varian when a uh, wrath is on you when they don't even have anywhere near the storm talents. But they should pick them up because of the bailing from the Punisher, and hopefully, we'll get some juicy fights. Juicy, juicy fights. So, I think uh, Lord of the Pings realised that everyone's top pulling that camp, so they're just like... Yeah, I'm just waiting for the ultimates to arrive. Here we go. So, what we got? We've got uh, oh. Avatar, Odin, Twilight Dream, Horrify, and Suppression Pulse from the enemy 
or rather fa number five. So Morden is just going to go un unkillable. He's a, that's what he's wanting. Mm. It would have been amazing to see Haymaker. I don't I know why, I don't know why he would go it. When, when he would never go it, but I, I like to see dangerous, line. risky plays here at this high levels. Um, Ertz Hay anticipated that Artana swap managed to dodge it. Cleanse is down though. The cleanse to get him away from any danger. Nera's three quarters of the way through the Corruption Stacks quest for Gul'dan. And we're getting good spins. Good spins there off Arian. Good spins. <laughs> Both teams are way to pull their camps before this Punisher spawns and Sonya's just a very out close game lane. a very very close game are they going to try and invade the level uh, difference is it's substantial for how close it is mm -hmm. but I think that's probably something to do with the additional four kills they've yeah, got most likely I'm going to huge swap at the bottom there and the horrify it's and he will be on oh, social connects but it's not going to be enough I don't think so Shh. oh nope. wow he goes down and they may even get Oh, Rhaegar gets away so lucky. What are you to the counter Of course, undead feed. I don't think anyone <laughs> expected any less. <laughs> undead was feed. Was that another... The chat goes wild. Charge from. Jordan swap as well. It, it, I think it, it was, didn't yeah. Get, didn't get any difference, but uh, Sonya, Sonya is struggling, deciding what to do. She was halfway down, decided I'll stick mid. But, um, yeah, I mean, that was... Yeah. That was quite favourable still on Lord of the Pink side because it puts them closer to level 13 as the Shrines act. Well, it, they traded kill for kill. That's that's how that went down. But always when you trade kill for kid, kill, it goes in favour of the team that's behind in experience. But n now the Shrine, look, they've got 13 Shrines up. That's shrines so, up. So you can't do anything. Gul'dan's having to stay bottom to soak, to pull a camp. Tychus is, is top, so they just can't do anything. You've just got to give it up, but the fort's already half health because the first Punisher was that um, was that valuable. Level 13's in here. Another spin talent from Sonya. Is that the improved healing, I think it is, uh, from Whirlwind? So, uh, Fat Five have completely abandoned it and just went for a bottom camp. But Lord of the Pings have gone and picked up the top camp. Yeah, I can see... They're up there getting it now, so... So now it's going to get even more value. I mean, That's great value, because John Cena in mid lane, they've got the camp going up top lane. They're going to sacrifice their bottom fort in exchange for this too, and I think that's a great trade. Considering, yeah, how much how much damage they may do to the fort wall, uh, sorry, the keep wall, they may even get the keep. But the Odin has been dropped as a zoning tool, but in a counter to that, the uh, Phoenix has been thrown out by KT. Oh wow, they're really scared of, uh, from this. Odin used so prematurely here. Mm. It's not sure if it was completely needed, but they were very, very scared. I mean, as a bonus, if they've not lost any damage on their keep. So, I mean, for an 80 second cooldown, maybe that was uh, worth it to them. And they will clear up the top, but it got so much value. I mean, look how much fort damage has been done just from pulling that one camp just before yeah. they, they summon the... Uh, and they've jumped adventure. bottom to ensure they get bottom fort as well. So that's three forts in one kind of easy push. Ah, no, they didn't get the top one, though. Sorry, I thought I thought they would have uh, finished that, but they didn't. As of now, this is all Lord of the Pings. Like, oh, look at this. The what, Chinese bush meta. <laughs> Incoming on the mirror, then does get the cleanse, and he will actually survive, but he d did get the cleanse on him, the avatar. Oh, says, and the oh ancestral <laughs> healing! Oh what? God. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Are you gonna feed? Is the chat gonna go wild? Gonna go. Sonya needs to start spinning, or she's gonna die. Of course. There we go. Sonya, Gabriel's what? Nahiel. Varian is still very low, and Varian will be taken down by the Tychus and the Mirrodin collapsing on them there at the altar. And oh, Sonya. Oh, Gabriel. Is there a heal for oh, the heals. Oh, oh, and he gets sippy cup. He's uh, just he's right. before a grenade as well. Wow, and the healing totems dropped as well. So they're going to be in a position to defend this, I think. Um, if they want to fight, I don't know. There we <laughs> go. A nice grenade to get the fort. That's that's desperate experience that Fat Five needed there. Yeah. Uh, by getting that fort. Wow, wow, these fights, man, they're just ex exceptional. Yeah. Because because it looks like one team's losing, and then it turns. In the blink of an eye, so they're invading. If it was, if it was anyone but Muir in there, he'd be dead yeah. instantly. Yeah, I mean the the amount of health he had <laughs> was still so low. Uh, it was it was incredible. He was lucky to pop that and get cleansed and mm -hmm. uh, 
yeah, nicely done by by Fat Five. To this is this is great, by the way, that Fat Five just got both um, camps there just before the objective. Ooh, oh, and he's it's a swap the wall. He swapped into his own. <laughs> he's, he's trying to take the wall down rather than go through the gate, which it was clever. That is value right there. That earns a hey, dying. Was that luck? <laughs> well, to be fair, or was that planned? Erds Erdzahe was behind the wall. You know what I mean? Like, like she was pretty safe. Um, was... You didn't anticipate an Artana swap of that magnitude because he no. must have came from off screen to do that. Level 16 is picked up by uh, Lord of the Pings as well. So yeah, he is. He's doing this uh, flame strike build. This thing, he's, he? he's doing the thing that would require the convection talent. Yeah, <laughs> and he's not taking convection talent. But yeah, I think so. Fat Five have given him up. Um, sorry, Fat Five are on it. But uh, in retaliation, Lord of the Pings are like, "Well, we'll go get you. We'll go put damage down on your keep. Deal with this." I don't. Can they actually get the keep? I don't feel like they can. Sonia taking a lot of damage on her, and the horrified they're not getting any value, only defensively. Interesting. At least they saved it. Um, but yeah, it means. Yeah, but now you're in an awkward position where Fat Five just stalling with the last uh, Guardian, mm -hmm. getting their 16 and then popping it up. There we go. And it's an Arcane Punisher, which is uh, very powerful. But now they're going back. They're going back for more. So what, do you think they're going to try and trade Fort for Keep here? Yeah, for sure, I think. And even if they want to continue the race and push it to the core, they're going to win. They're so far ahead in structure on the lane there. There's just no way that uh, Fat Five can ignore it, and there, they, and there it is. What Mafurin or what's Hearthstoning stop? So is Nera. Seems like they have some indecisive. They're they're considering the race. They just Hearthstone and cancel all of them. I have no idea what's going on here on the side of Fat Five. <laughs> they're. Is it the race? Is it not the race? I don't know. I don't know. think. It, I think they were expected. Oh my God! Did you see? Oh that? yes, the suppression yeah, pulse the stopped suppression it. Pulse. To stop them amazing. from getting back. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean that yeah that was that was good playing the the okay well I mean the siege camp is on the core for um, Lord of the Pings so they are still pushing they don't need to be there for that swap attempt and it gets him oh gets no Ill. oh the ancestral was there but it wasn't quick enough but undead has fallen as well undead feeds he's got a thirty percent <laughs> Punisher attacking the core okay so one this is one trade. this is oh this is so close it's oh, a good kite it. good kite on the uh, Punisher there actually. Yeah, but they're actually getting some serious core damage here. The core's already at 70%, dropping to 60%, yeah, 55%, and it seems like they're going to be defending it. Can wow. Get out of the, the root Veruca has been, he's, he's been... He's been taunted. He goes wow, down. they're wiping. This could be game. I think they might have enough time to rush the core, possibly. Well, there's there's nothing in bottom lane, so... Oh, and there no. goes D1! And there is... And the camp is still there. There's still uh, two goats there pushing uh, the lane. Keeping yeah. it pushed, at least. Wow. So the minions are there? Gonna yeah, the catapult is already being uh, a little bit being wasteful on the healing fountain, but this is it. If if Lord of the Pings are going to win this game, now is their time. They have to do it right now. But they have Sonya, they have Vala, both great versus uh, core damage. Go, it's going to have, have to go be, like right now. Yeah, it's going to have to be a godly suppression pulse to stop them getting damage on the core. The swap into the the keep. That was a great reign of vengeance from Vala there. Undead, are you going to feed again? No, you're away with five hundred. Morden's back in two miles back. They managed. They didn't do it. They, they managed didn't do to it. stop it. That was wow. That's ups I, They're going to be spitting nails <laughs> that they didn't win the game there. They, they they just needed to be faster. It's well, it's upsetting. Hindsight is twenty twenty. But if they had I'm cleared, Dennis, I mean, I'm dead. I'm dead. Just bought them at just enough time for them. He distracted them. Used their cooldown. They didn't get a kill on him. Yeah. And and he's going for the swap. Misses it. This game is so close. Yeah. This is so close. It's Storm Talents any second now for uh, Lord of the Pings though, so if they achieve that, they've got the advantage in the team fight. And that's... Oh, oh fantastic spot here for uh, Lord of the Pings with the Shrine control, but I don't think Fat Five are going to be eating into it. Nope, there we go. They are, go they are being aggressive. They're trying to get a fight before level 20. Stealing here. the camp in that lane there. That that'll hurt uh, Lord of the Pings. With that wave though, are they going to pick up level? They're gonna, yeah, they're going to get level twenty here. There you go. I mean, no one's capping it. Oh, oh no, they haven't capped it yet. Oh, this is going to oh be it. This is a game ending. Oh no. Tychus is, he's popped Odin not like to not this. die. Not like this. Phoenix is in. 
Oh my gosh. You can't even see oh. what's going on here. Undead, Undead feet! Undead. The Ancestral oh. comes out with a Sonya who's already wrath of the Berserker, so she's just gonna chase down whoever she wants. So Fat Five actually got that, um, got yeah. the camp. I didn't see, that was incredible. That was, there will be some very no, passive aggressive work. Undead. That's gonna be... They lost Undead. And uh, the altar is at the bot lane, that means that the Punisher is going to be pushing the lane without a keep. Yeah, this is advantageous to them if they... if they. Oh, but they're this. going for a back door. Are they going back door? They're going Just for a back door. They don't have a choice. I like it. They don't have a choice, I don't think they, so. Yeah, they're not going to be able to get level 20 before this Punisher spawns. But, Are they? But, There's but not enough minions. They're ping. Lower the ping. Not, they don't see this. They're doing it. Now they're hearthing, but... They're the hearthing. Pulse. The suppression pulse could... No, it's not. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. He's back. It's, it's now or but never. They are leaving KT. They are leaving KT to do the Guardian Steals to pop the Punisher. Alright, they're now go going back here. Wow. Oh, this is, a, this is mental. Wow, what KT a nice score by Lord of the Pings, man. They, they didn't overreact to that. Yeah. They put back enough people to be a threat to make them reverse. But they're, and they then, still oh, go more. this is awesome. They're going to race. It's going to be a core race yeah. for the, oh for the position. God, for the for the grand finals, this is it. Oh, They're going core no. race. I think they can win the race. Who can? I think they uh, fast five. Oh no, they're coming back. Or can they? No, they're not. They're oh, what's going back. on? There's so much uncertainty in this. There's team. indecision. Okay. There's indecision. They're, they're going in. for it. They're going right. They're here going. we go. Here we go. The I core think is taking damage. Now. The core is taking damage. Yeah. They are just undead feeds. <laughs> Come on! Oh, oh, it's so. It's quick. so close. It's so close. Uh, they just. I can't believe it, they just waited oh. too long with a decision to go for the core. Wow, And it's what? not like they have a lot of core damage either, oh my god. The hover there, there was... Yeah.